Hi, I'm Dan. It's my wife, Laura. My son, Dan, is behind the camera. Uh, we're here today to taste our, my uh, best letter in 12 clone called Hallelujah. And uh, we've tasted it before, but today we're doing it side by side with the real thing. So that's kind of a special occasion for us. And we have a song to go with that. It's a variation of the Leonard Cohen song by the same name. So.
one each or pass them back and forth? Or? Try yeah, let's do it. I'll start with this. Okay. That way we'll start different ones. Okay. Obviously, it's not going to be blind. Well. You might not get a whole lot of scent. Of course, they're still a little bit cold. They've only been out of the fridge about a half hour or less. Dr. Bill's three sip rule. Three sip rule? Okay. Oh, at least one oh, more. Dr. Bill's? Okay. We forgot to get something to clear the palate at in between. I won't say anything to you. Can you taste it? Okay. Funny, I'm getting a lot more scent from this one. I didn't think of the scent being strong enough, but it is. Hmm. Not that close. <laughs> as well. I think it's a little like the drier. It's, it's, it's much more bitter. Much. And I know I'm a little over on the IBUs. Yes. It's probably around 45. That's better. It's supposed to be around 39. It's funny how much more scent I'm getting a malt scent. Well, because your, scent. But your, yours is not as malty. That's why, yeah. too, also. Yours smelled roastier. Mm -hmm. I was getting more coffee. I'm not getting any coffee here. Mm -mm. It's very sweet, actually. The, the old cherry smell I used to have in that's going back, going, going down. But it's turning into more of a coffee taste. Less of a. Still looking for that fig. Oh, <laughs> the fig. Well, they're both quite tasty, though. Go back one more time. Now. Sure. Yes. Definitely. This is a little lighter in color too. Yours is a bit more rough. And this is yeah. yours is clearer. Yeah, it is. There's some you... unusual on this one. I co-filtered it, put it in the fridge. I think that caused a lot of trouble. Now I'm getting the scent off this one. I think well, it's just to warm up a little bit. Yeah, and oh, because I'm just holding it. I'm probably biting the challenge a little bit more. Now it's about. Yeah, because I co filtered this one and uh, never done that before in the fridge and uh, ended up at 10 weeks in the bottle it hadn't carbonated. So I had to actually decant it, re-yeast it and re-bottle it. It's only been in the bottle with the yeast for a little over two months. The Vestie is almost a year old so it's got an advantage on us for age. That's true. Well, I can say I'd rather have this for dessert <laughs> but I'd rather have that with my meal. Okay. It's it's interesting. She's, she's being unusually kind to me. She's usually more brutally bitter. And this is more, I mean, more brutally honest. This is more brutally <laughs> bitter is what I was thinking. No, you're... Oh, mine's, yeah, mine's more brutally bitter. Yeah. I, have to, I actually backed off on the hops. You might hear gurgling behind the camera. That's batch two of uh, Hallelujah. I backed off on the hops a little bit. We'll see so, what the result will be then. And, uh, use different, uh, different grains there. So we'll see how that comes out. But uh, we'll keep trying. It's fun. Even the even the even the misses are, are fun. Can we have a toast? Hallelujah. Hallelujah.